Hello everyone, BC here, and I have some exciting installation to do here today. I have been playing with cars for as long as I can remember, and one thing about high horsepower, high torque cars is that you can lose adhesion to the ground. Well, today we're going to install a QDH2T wave differential into a Tesla large unit. As you know, EV cars have a lot of torque, just like this one behind me. So take a look at this video, you can see with the car right now, losing traction. And here's another vehicle of ours with a quick differential installed. And look at how that thing hooks. So today we're gonna to take advantage of that, throw one into a drive and see how easy or difficult it is to install. So you need a 13, a 50 Torx, a 10 millimeter deep socket would be ideal, a flathead screwdriver, and in addition, a T25 torques as well. I also have this Milwaukee very handy dandy impact remover. It's kind of a low torque one. So we first take the carrier bolts out with a 10 millimeter, then follow up with a 13 millimeter to get all the casing bolts out as well. This is a little bit of fun here. Forgive Fabian and my guys in the back from Marvin having fun as I'm working away. Anyway, so now we use uh, a screwdriver to lightly tap the center and uh, also a nice uh, little wedge can allow us to do that even better. There's a little bit of oil left over from before is the Dextrin 6 that exists through Purol. That's what I used. Gently pry, you may get some help if need be, the case halves apart. But you have to be very careful because on the very end of that, on the opposite end of the differential, there is a wire that you cannot sever. So now we have the center factory differential out with an open diff. I have a bearing handheld table bearing remover, remover that I'm using to remove the upper bearing. So now this bearing is something that is somewhat sensitive because of the carrier. And there it is, comes off and you are good to go. There it is, there's the carrier. So now you can remove the ring gear from the open differential. That's the new Quake unit, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And I'm gonna give you a nice close up of the bearings. You have two of them, the smaller one being a 6309 and the larger one being a 6310. Both with C3 clearance and you can get those via FAG or even SKF. Pretty good brands. There is the Quave unit itself right there. And that is meant for the larger Tesla drive, which is pretty nice. Very nice unit, giving us some good adhesion on the street. So you definitely want to clean out the ring gear, make sure you don't have any debris. You can wire wheel all the bolts and make sure all the old thread locker is off. And I apply a little bit of thread locker as well on the bolts. These are 10.9, very hardened bolts, so they're very robust. Turn them by hand. Get them all nice and into the differential. I've used slid over the ring gear onto the Quave limited slip or ATB. I gently impact it on, not all the way, but just impact it to where it's a little snug because I need to be able to torque this properly to 45 foot pounds. And that's what you want to do. And as you see, I'm going across. And if it's a little difficult for you to hold on to, there's another method. You can go on a vise and Quaif was kind enough to give us some flat surfaces to grab onto the vise and torque accordingly. So now the carrier goes on, and then now the bearing, and you can use a nice little press and press in. That's the 6309 bearing, which goes on the front, and I already installed the 6310 on the rear. Kind of boring stuff, eh? Now you have to make sure that you insert the uh, bearing holder carrier into the casing. It's not symmetrical, so you have to make sure you're putting it in the right direction. There's two of the bolts that are wider than the others. Apply a little bit of thread locking compound as well. Put on the 10 millimeter bolts, or nuts, sorry. Took it down, and what I did here was I went kind of uh, to about seven foot pounds to torque it now, nice and snug with the deep socket 10 millimeter. The right stuff by Permatex is what I use. I use it on quite a few of my engine builds and gearbox builds as well, so that works very well for this. Make sure that you have the O-rings in place and the paper not damaged. Kind of wiggle the 
cases together and now put in the 13s and you're good to go. I use my light impact to go across and get it nice and snug and then I went ahead and torqued it down to 23 foot pounds all around the case in a crisscross manner as you would need. Now in the rear you have these butt bars that we took off initially. You go ahead and put those in as well using the 50 Torx and those are in nice and tight and snug. Then you also have the cover for that that protects the bus bars from the elements. And I just applied a little bit of lithium grease to get it in and then you put the nice cover. And if you so desire, just because you're particular like I am, the original sticker. Wow, what an ordeal. We finally finished installing the Quake ATB or LSD into the large Tesla drive. So now adhesion will no longer be a challenge and I look forward to seeing you out there on the track and on the street.